Good day and welcome to today's tutorial class. My name remains Oluwa Tumbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today we'll be producing the problem on the screen. Alright, so the very first thing I'm going to do right here actually is to produce uh, this thin horizontal line in this order. Then after that, I'm going to what, uh, produce a vertical line to it. That, right, so that is there, right there. Okay, so from the midpoint where our lines meet, I'm measuring the first radius of what, uh, 7.5. With radius 7.5 sitting right here, I draw our first circle, which is this. After that, we have another circle of radius or arc per se, radius 30. With radius 30 standing right here, I would, I draw this. Can you see that? I draw that. I'm going to make it thin line first of all. All right. So that is that about that. So from here now, uh, yeah. So from this junction, we have our arc of radius 30 actually touches this line. I'm picking my set square. Okay, my 30 by 60 degree set square. Then I'm going to draw two lines, one at 30 degree and one at 60 degree. So picking my set square towards this axis. Okay. So my 30 60 degrees is square from here now, from here towards the bottom, from that midpoint, I'm drawing at what 30 degrees, which is this. Okay, and from the same here, okay, as it is right now, so towards the top, from this same junction, towards the top, from this junction towards the okay at 60 degree i would i draw that right there okay so what's the next thing for me to do here the next thing for me to do here is this i'm going to pick my compass and my ruler right about now okay so picking my compass and my ruler i'm measuring an arc of radius 40 so with radius 40 which is this standing uh, at this junction right here okay i'm what i'm drawing this arc faintly like this as you can see on your screen faintly like that okay faintly like that that's radius 40 then from there i'm picking my compass i'm measuring radius what radius 7.5 likewise radius 7.5 which is this which is 7.5 I stand right here at this junction here. I would I draw this arc here. Can you see that? So ensuring I maintain my 7.5 also. With my 7.5 right at this junction, I would I draw this arc also. I draw this arc also. So then what am I going to do from there? The next thing I'm going to do is standing at this junction. Okay, I extend my compass down here. Okay, then I what? I draw like that. Okay, then also I extend my compass down here. Then I what? I also draw. I also draw like that. That area is set to like that. Okay, so picking my compass with radius 20. So I measure radius 20, which is this. With radius 20 standing right at this junction, I what? I draw. Of coming okay maintaining our radius 20 from this midpoint i would i draw this arc right there okay i draw it tick okay maintaining that the next procedure is to pick my compass from here okay extend it right here and that's this okay that's it then i'm going to what draw this tangential to this one here i make it bold that's it. I'm going to make it bold. Take once and for all. I have that right there. Then after that, I'm going to take in this my arc of radius 30 very well right now. Okay, which is this. Okay. Taking it out, which is that. So right here we have an arc of radius, what radius 10 here. Yeah. Okay, an arc of radius 10 right here. Okay, so on this area it is an external arc okay 10 plus 30 that's what that is 40 picking my compass i measure what 40 which is just 40 standing at this junction i what i strike my first arc okay then uh over there also is also an external arc 10 plus 20 that's what 30 
picking radius 30 i would stand at this junction and would and i strike my second arc okay this is what point of intersection then i measure radius what radius 10 i measure radius 10 with my radius 10 standing at this point of intersection right here i would i join do you see that i join perfectly okay so that is the solution to this problem on the screen so you'll be amazed how do i know which one is internal how do i know which one is external yeah there is this principle called principle of tangency we have the first principle second principle and third principle so for you to actually know this i prepare a two hours plus tutorial video on the principle of tangency which i explain each of these uh problem of tangency you have tangency on a straight line internal tangents and external tangents if you understand these three principles believe you me you will be able to tackle any problem that comes your way on curved tangency problem in engineering drain all right so where can you get access to this course you can have access to this course on our website at www.michaellabs.com.ng just for a little token just for a little token yeah so that token is just to appreciate our effort for putting stuff like this out and i believe you are going to actually subscribe to it to encourage us to do more and to do better all right so i remain your humble uh my humble self Uluwa Tumbi blessing or lalikon the founder of michael tech kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you